Hi guys, my name is James Longdon from Modano and this is the getting started video. So this is aimed at people who've just installed the software and they want to get their first model up and running. So what we're going to go through are the six easy steps to get yourself started. Step one is choosing a template. So what we're going to do here is choose a starting dynamic template that most suitably matches the business we're looking to model. This is a really simple process and all it really involves is going up to the Medano tab and clicking on the new dynamic template button. Now, if you're trying to decide which starting dynamic template to use, then there's a couple of options. One is to head to the Medano website and to check out the library user guides. Another option is to explore some of the example models that should help you decide on your chart of accounts and the the dynamic template that you're going to actually run with we'll just keep things pretty basic and go with a chart of accounts one model now i'm not going to go into too much detail around the properties window the main point i will make though is in relation to the time series where the time series is referenced up as a historical and forecast that means that model has historical and forecast infrastructure in the absence of that the starting dynamic template will be a forecast only piece so if you're looking to develop a model that is a single snapshot might be for a transaction valuation uh, some sort of one-off strategic analysis what you want is a simpler forecast only model if you're looking to put a model into place that's going to have longevity and is going to be rolled forward each period that's when you would go for the historical and forecast option we'll go with the quarterly historical forecast model so as you can see the roll forward mechanism now in terms of setting up your starting dynamic template there's three main aspects of scalability in relation to Medano category based infrastructure, time series, and the actual modules themselves. If we just quickly click through this model, what you'll notice is a whole host of row-based category infrastructure. Now with the Modano software installed, you can very easily right-click to add and remove categories without having to worry about all of the flow-on effects. So if you want to add new revenue categories, all you have to do is right-click to insert. If you want to remove an OPEX line, all you have to do is right-click and delete the category. And this same principle applies throughout the model, debt facilities, assets, debtors, creditors, and so on. In the same way that Modano's category-based mechanisms handle your row by row infrastructure Modano's integrated time series analysis also allows you to affect and manage your column based infrastructure so for example if I want to change this model from eight quarters to 12 quarters all I have to do is head to the time series assumption change the term from eight to 12 and Modano will handle the rest now this particular model is a rolling model so it's got the historical and forecast so to the extent that I want to change the split of historical data versus forecast assumptions all I have to do is head to the last historical quarter assumption and change the split of what is historical data versus forecast assumptions and the Modano software will hop in and change that in terms of my all periods presentation split. Now at the heart of the Modano system is the concept of modularity. If we hop across to the project manager you can see that your starting dynamic template is actually made up of a whole host of individual pieces that we refer to as modules. Now these modules allow you to plug and play content that better suits your business. So if we hop across to the revenue module you can see that your starting model just has an amounts based mechanism. If you want to change this to say prices and volumes all you have to do is click Modano replace module from web and you can choose that module not only that but you can also build your content out so if you want to have both amounts and prices and volumes revenue you can actually insert a module and Modano allows you to go on from here so if you want to include ratios analysis for example you want evaluation all you have to do is insert module and Modano will build that content into your starting dynamic template automatically and this is really at the heart of the Modano system it's the ability to make incredibly complex and robust changes to your model on a plug and play basis without having to do overly manual or, or labor intensive activity. Not only that, but it's all automatically best practice and the risk side of things is also nicely managed as well. Now at this point, we've got our model all scaled up. We've got the necessary modules that suit our business. We've got the number of categories that reflect the scale of whatever we're modeling. The time series are all set up. The final task here for us from a, from a model structure perspective is to personalize it and potentially put on some sort of corporate scheme. Now a Medano model is actually constructed using a, a fairly hardcore style-based system. What that means is you can comprehensively change the style and theme of your model in a couple of key ways. From a look and feel perspective, you can change the theme of your model using the Excel theme tools and that will comprehensively impact the overall view of your model. Alternatively, you can also create a fairly comprehensive core corporate theme and roll that out across your entire organization. And that ranges from simple colors to presentation fonts, number formats, and so on. And the sixth and final rule of Medano Club relates to the training and support. Now, a lot of people come to Medano from the Excel world. 
Excel is, as an information structure, is incredibly flat. If you can understand a formula and a cell and a worksheet, you can, you can get pretty far. That's very conducive to just bashing your way through and kind of figuring things out. By comparison, Madano's information structure is a lot deeper. That's what gives the system its power, but it's also what gives it a degree of complexity. So we recommend that you upskill using the practical self-learning system and actually sitting through some of the training exercises. So the mistake people often make is to assume that they can just bash their way through. They don't necessarily get the best out of the software in terms of understanding categories, modularity, link systems, and so on. And related to the training side of things, there's also a comprehensive pay-as-you-go support credit system. So if you're trying to put a complex change through the model, then submit your support query through the system. And one of our financial modeling experts will hop online and assist you. And that may come in terms of either putting the change directly through your model for you or running a, a small online training session that allows you to understand how to put the changes through so as you're able to do that for next time. And that's it. That's the getting started done. So after three or four minutes, you are up and running with your perfect financial model. Now we've got another video we'll, which will actually go into a little bit more detail around model use, looking in, in detail at, at categories, assumptions, uh, all of the checks. There's a huge depth to the system, but yeah, hopefully after three or four minutes, you're, you're now up and running and off to the races. So uh, welcome aboard and um, happy model populating.